to yet another edition of Indulge. Jalsa the movie has been making news for its engaging narrative and power packed performances. Starring Vidya Balan and Shefali Shah, this is one of the most talked about movies in recent times. And joining me today to talk more about it is none other than Vidya Balan herself and Vikram Malhotra from Abundantia Entertainment, who are the producers of the film. Hello, Vidya. Hi, Vidya. Hi. Hi. So good to see both of you together again. Thank you. Likewise. Okay, I, I watched the film and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And there were so many moments and I was thinking, oh my God, it feels like I am there on screen because you play a journalist. Right. And a lot of people who have watched the movie kept saying, you know what, we always thought about you. So <laughs> Really? Wow. <laughs> so I think, I think you really aced the role that you Thank played. Thank you. So, so, so tell me, I mean, how does it feel today to be part of this film that has actually sparked conversations, you know, uh, about so many things, about the social and class difference, about ethics, and also about, you know, your son who plays your son in the film, who has uh, cerebral palsy about that. So tell you me, know, what does it feel like today? I think it's so wonderful that it has sparked conversation that it has um, you know made people uh, realize that there's no point in judging another or in judging another person's actions I think because a lot of people have written to me saying you know I felt like oh my god I felt like maybe I would have reacted the same way if I was in Maya's place you know and that for me is a huge win because here, I think Suresh Triveni's style of storytelling in this particular film is very, um, you know, it's, it's almost through an observer's lens. It's not a judgment. He's not taking sides. So I think it's so wonderful that you come back feeling empathy for everyone, for everyone's reasons and their story. And then, like you said, there are so many things that have sparked the ethical dilemma, you know, um, what if this were me um, about inclusivity vis-a-vis -vis Surya who plays Ayush in the film and about of course how you know I, 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 I used to wonder if people would feel that oh because Maya is more privileged that she gets away with it but you realize that once you watch the film and especially from the reactions I've been getting from people, you realize that people get that being rich does not make you bad. Being poor does not make you good. We're all human beings and we could be across strata, across the spectrum. We, there is good and bad in each of us. And it's situations that bring out a certain facet of our personalities. And uh, so I think it's, it's been fantastic. Vikram, tell me about you when, when the story came to you first uh, and you were looking at it. What, what were your initial thoughts and did you kind of zero in on Vidya immediately saying that she will be playing this role? Tell me about that. Suresh first narrated the story as literally two lines to me. And even at that point, he was very clear and I instantly acknowledged that it had to be Vidya and it had to be Shefali. For me, I've come to trust my instinct when I hear stories, concept, ideas from you know talented creators like Suresh Triveni. And more importantly, I have learned how to trust their own judgment and vision behind the stories that they tell. I will tell you this about Jalsa. The first time that he narrated this film's first half to me, it's like when he said, and at this point, it's interbell. I think I realized that I wasn't really breathing. You know, it was like I was short of breath. It was, it was that kind of a, a, a narration and a story. And he's an amazing narrator of, of scripts. So I was instantly convinced that this was going to be a film that we would all be 
proud and delighted to be a part of. So, so you know, uh, Vijay, I'm just looking at your last, uh, like, previous uh, three films. Uh, there was Sherni, Shakuntala Devi, and then this Jalsa. And, um, you know, one common factor here is that the film was shouldered on you. You were the one who were taking it forward. And in an industry where, even today, uh, male protagonists are given such an important you know, character to play, here you are breaking all the norms. Did you think that you would be doing this when you started your career? No, but for the past 14 years, I've been telling stories with um, the, the woman being the central protagonist. So, you know, and the, the kind of stories have only gotten better through these 14 years. And Shakuntala, Sherni and Jalsa are proof of that. You know, and who would have thought that you'll have a story with two strong female characters? like in Jalsa. And, um, you know, it, it's just fantastic because I think, you know, historically, our films only had male heroes. The hero was male, right? That's because even in our lives, we made the men, the man in our lives was a, the man, okay, I'm getting the grammar wrong for this, but <laughs> the men in our lives were the heroes. We yeah. were always peripheral characters. Mm -hmm. We didn't have dreams. We didn't know we had the right to our bodies and our choices and our lives. And all that has changed. And that's what's finding representation on screen. So yes, I hadn't thought about it. But, um, you know, maybe subconsciously I have. Because I think it's, it's collective desire that is manifesting in this way. In the world and therefore in cinema. Uh, Vikram, the, my question is to you now, again, looking at uh, Vidya's films, uh, when you have a heroine leading the film, uh, do you have any kind of apprehensions? In this case, it's Vidya, but it could also be other actresses. Do you have any kind of apprehensions? Because most production houses would probably back a, you know, a male-oriented or centric film. We don't look at stories as as... I frankly don't even know whether this is right English to say that something is male oriented or male centric or female oriented or female centric. You know, I uh, despise how these tags get attached to stories. Far from having any kind of reservations, we actually find that stories that have women leading them in front of or behind the camera tend to resonate with us that much better. Uh, apprehensions for such films, no more and actually probably less than those with films or stories that would have men leading them. And I don't say this only because we have a successful string of such films in the last few years, whether it's uh, the hat trick that we've now achieved with Vidya, uh, with Shakuntala Devi, Sherni and Jalsa, or a recent uh, scary film that we did called Chori or, uh, you know, everything else that's lined up and a big chunk of that slate features uh, stories that are created by women and, and several of them have women in the lead. Um, economic feasibility doesn't change. Uh, the desire to tell engaging, impactful stories doesn't change. The partner to work with talented, high quality storytellers doesn't change. So really it's just how organically these stories get developed and and find their audience as far as uh, Abhinansha entertainment is concerned. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, uh, again, because it's it's been an OTT release, but I think that hasn't stopped any of your recent films to actually get a lot of people to watch it. So, Vidya, where do you, do you think this is a good shift where parallelly probably both big screen, you know, releases as well as OTT releases will get equal kind of say audience. What do you have to say about this shift? I think so. I think it's an added bonus that we have the OTT platforms today, you know, because also your, uh, the demand is so high, you know, you can access um, every kind of content on your mobile phone. Therefore, there is so much more hunger for it. So you're watching content from not just your but from across the world. And it's, I think we're all enjoying the best of both worlds. Yeah. Of course, mm -hmm. it's been a while since I've had a theatrical release, but yeah. that will, maybe my next will be in the theaters. 
there's no, uh, you know, I, I've not thought of, oh, is this an OTT? Is this a theatrical? I don't think, I'm just thinking, how can I get more people to watch my film? <laughs> I think that's the only consideration. Okay. You know, I want to ask you about Surya, who plays your son in the film. I, I was watching a lot of, you know, behind the scenes uh, uh, things that had released on YouTube. And all. It, it looks very interesting because we have never seen a person with a condition play the role, like an actor who has the condition already. So how different was this experience when you have someone like that to work with? Can you, any, any anecdotes that you have from the... You know, show? what I will say is um, Suresh and Abandon Shah, Vikram, made sure that the team was spoken to. They, I remember they did something called a sensitization session. Is that right? Vikram, where they told people about what cerebral palsy is and how Surya needs to be um, supported in the process. Mm. You know, like, this is who he is, you know, and there, there might be, um, the, you have to be sensitive to his needs. For example, maybe you, you can't um, expect him to stand for too long, get him a chair in between takes, small things like that, you know. Also, where, because they were spoken to, no one looked at Surya like he was not one amongst us. I think a lot of people behave insensitively because they don't know better. So this session really helped create awareness. And this is what inclusivity is about. You know, it is about awareness. I think we are blessed to have worked with Surya because he's a wonderful child. And I keep saying, you know, his name is aptly Surya because he is like the sun. He lights up any place. Of course, lit up every frame he was in. The kind of reactions we've got from people, you know, everyone asking for his number or saying, can we reach out to one of his parents? And people have been reaching them and he's just pure joy, but he's such a fantastic actor. You know, I believe inclusivity is very, very, very important. It is a need of the hour. But having said that, we lucked out because Surya is a fantastic actor. We might have had to cast someone as a person with cerebral palsy if we hadn't found an actor in Surya. We have, you, we ha you have to do what's right for the film. Mm -hmm. But we really lucked out because we found Surya. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. Uh, I think everyone, everyone was just amazed because he's such a happy child. He engaged with everyone. And... Mm -hmm. uh, Really, it was a it was a very supportive environment in the in the words of his mother. Mm -hmm. You know, where no one looked at him with pity or sympathy, but with empathy, and that makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. So, 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 tell me something because the story is so serious, but of course, there are moments that you know it did make me laugh in between. Uh, but what was the mood like? Because it is a serious subject, so. So was it always very grim and were you all very serious? Uh, I wouldn't say it was grim, but mm. it was, you know, Suresh likes to create an atmosphere on set. An mm. atmosphere that, so that you're in the mood of the scene, in the mood mm. of the film. Mm. So, you know, even his musical cues are such. Mm. Also, we were shooting this post the second lockdown. So, you know, any day interactions were very limited. It's not like we were sitting with each other and chilling and you know, having fun like on a normal set and also because of the scenes, you mm. didn't have that, you know, uh, he wanted a certain tension in the air. It was almost electric, you know. So, mm. so um, I don't think we enjoyed in the, you know, in, in, in the way that we would on other sets, but the enjoyment came from the work. Mm -hmm. That was very <laughs> fulfilling. Yeah. We can tell me, now that you've worked with Vidya so closely, uh, what, what can we see from here? What's the next move? Will we, I don't know, Vidya, do you want to uh, probably get behind the camera and do some, you know, direction? What What is the plan there? I have absolutely no plans to get behind any camera. I'm very happy doing what I'm doing and... Uh, 
hopefully fulfilling the potential of abundantia in enabling lots more talented people to get behind the camera and do what they do best uh, we are focused on finding the best stories that we can taking them to uh, amazing creative partners like vidya on one hand and uh, you know our co-producers on this film t series on the other hand and landing up at places like amazon prime video um we would definitely want to continue th- on this vector that we are on of telling engaging stories impactful entertaining stories and uh, look at the conversation that we are having here i mean this itself is so satisfying and fulfilling that we are talking about a film that everyone's talking about loving engaging relating with and at the same time talking about such an important subject like inclusivity so um you know in in many ways this is really what we set out to do and and hopefully we'll stay this course for a long time to come like uh, you know talking about behind the scenes in production you are married to a producer so what is the kind of conversations that you have at home because also you know there's kunal and azja who are actors so so is there a lot of talk about okay who's doing which film next and probably what's that that, that of course as a family we know who is doing what currently yeah but uh, i think when we talk about films it's about have you watched this and this is so great and it's really about you know sometimes you also share <laughs> stories of weird experiences we have with people or you know a little bit of gossip that also happens but it, it's more about you know i have to say that when it comes to siddharth and me we don't influence each other's decisions we share with each other for example i tell him i'm reading the story i'm very excited about it and this is why you know i feel like i should do it but maybe this is why i feel like i don't want to do it and uh, he's a very patient listener so he never uh, dispenses advice but he just tears me out and lets me process it my process it myself similarly with i'm not a patient listener but <laughs> no i am but i'm also it's you know we are both i think just supporting each other in whatever we do a lot is happening in malayalam cinema you know even i think amazon prime video also has very interesting movies so would we see you be part of any of i don't know maybe future projects in malayalam or if you're keen on remaking something something that you would want to bring it to hindi cinema audiences something that I, is your favorite i i, I don't uh, enjoy the idea of a remake i've done one remake in my career and i just feel like when there are such original stories why go for a remake as far as malayalam cinema is concerned i had um, you know not very great experiences at the beginning of my career which is why i've shied away from doing anything there and uh, subsequently i haven't been offered anything great if i am offered something that i can't refuse i will definitely do it what are you working on next vidya on um, anu menon's next anu menon who's the director of shakuntala i'm working on her film next and that's all i'm at liberty to say at this point <laughs> okay okay thank you so much that was vidya balan and uh, vikram malhotra speaking to us about jalsa thank you so much thank you aisha